get ready for a quick quest guide for the Premonic Trials quest, in which the main rewards for completing are access to the islands of Miscellania, Etzertia, Neatisnot and Jatazo, as well as the ability to use many facilities in Relica. Additionally, you'll unlock the ability to wear the Fremenic Warrior, Berserker, Archer and Farseer helms, and the ability to have Fossa Grime and create you an imbued Enchanted Liar. On top of this, you'll ditch the fees when travelling to Waterbirth Island, and also gain 2,800 experience in 10 different skills as well as 3 quest points. There are no quest requirements to take on this quest, and technically there are no skill requirements either. However, as part of this quest, you'll need to obtain a liar, and you can craft this yourself if you have level 25 fletching, 40 woodcutting, and 40 crafting. If you don't have these skill levels, then you can alternatively kill level 48 Lanzig to obtain the liar, who has a 1 in 17 chance of dropping it. And he can be killed with melee, or alternatively safe spotted with ranged or magic if you prefer that. You'll also need combat skills to defeat both a level 69 skeletal ghost warrior and to defeat a rather strong warrior called Koshe the Deathless without armor or weapons. While these fights aren't overly challenging, if you're a hardcore Iron Man then I'd have around level 45 to 50 combat just to be on the safe side. When it comes to items, you'll need 5,250 coins, a tinderbox, and a raw shark. If you're creating the liar yourself, then you'll also need a knife and an axe too. When it comes to recommended items, you'll want around 20 to 30 pieces of food. But when starting, just bring enough to kill the level 69 ghost warrior, as well as a little bit more if you're also killing Lanzig for the liar. I'd also recommend armor and a weapon to defeat the skeletal ghost warrior, and know that he has a very very high range defense so melee or magic is best. Know that you will be banking before taking on Koshe the Deathless, and when taking him on you'll also want some enchanted jewelry as well as 1-2 to two rings of recoil, as well as a super combat potion, a prayer potion and additional food that you'll have a chance to grab from a bank. If you've completed the Lost City quest, then while not essential, bringing along some Draman branches and a knife will give you a small advantage in this fight as well. Also, this quest involves a lot of running, and so 3-4 to four stamina potions will really help with all the running around. Finally, you will want 6 teleports to Relic Up, provided you have access to them. If you have 30 construction, then you can move your house to Relica and use teleport to house tabs. Or you can also use Nightmare Zone points to buy scrolls of redirection to turn teleports to your house into Relica teleports. Additionally, you'll also want two Camelot teleports. If you don't have access to Relica teleports, then bring along some extra stamina potions. And also know that if you have access to fairy rings from the A Fairy Tale Part 2 quest, then both the CJR and the AJR fairy rings can be be used to travel during this quest as well. Finally, having 7 to 8 free inventory spaces at the quest start will make your life a little bit easier. Now you can begin this quest at the long rectangle room in Central Relica which has a few fires going on inside. Start by talking to Brunt the Chieftain and asking, why will no one talk to me? Before then skipping through a heap of dialogue and finally selecting yes to officially begin the quest and start your journey to being a Fremenic where you have to win over 7 different council members. You can win them over in any order, but here we'll start by doing Manny's, Olaf's and Sigley's together as they all take you outside of Relica and have a lot of pathing overlap. Now within the long haul, look for and chat to Manny the Reveler and after a bit of chat, say yes and agree to a drinking contest. Now from the table in the middle of the room, grab the beer tankard and the keg of beer before talking to Manny again and selecting yes to start the contest, which you will absolutely lose. Next, run south out of the building whereby you'll find Sigley the Huntsman. Talk to Sigley and spacebar through the chat with him before asking, what's a dragon? And after a bit more chatter, select yes to agree to hunt it down, and Sigley will then hand you a hunter's talisman which will help you do just that. Now run northeast until you see Olaf the Bard and then chat to him, skipping through the dialogue before selecting yes to help him. After the chat finishes, speak to him again and after a lot of space firing, finish off the chat by saying, I don't need a reminder. Now if you planned on attaining the liar by repeatedly killing Lanzig as opposed to crafting it, then now's the time to do so. Head a little south to the small building with a little fire in the middle whereby you'll find him. He has level 48 combat and you'll want to continue 
continue killing him until you get the liar. And know that you can use the fire in the middle of the room to safe spot him if needed. Next, use a relic of teleport and run a bit south to the bridge. Or if you don't have a relic of teleport, then just run south all the way to it. After you arrive, look for a council workman who is hanging out just south of the bridge and use your beer tank card on him. And in return for the beer, he will hand you a strange object. Afterwards, you'll want to turn your attention to the Hunter Talisman and select Locate on it, which will guide you in the direction of the Jorgen. Follow this direction to track it down. But note that if you get a chat box message that says the Jorgen has moved elsewhere, then you might have to quickly switch up where you're searching because he'll often have moved a fair distance. Once you locate and are standing on the correct tile, then using locate with the talisman will see the Dragon jump out and attack you. All you need to do is defeat the Dragon, and once you've done this then you'll absorb the Dragon's essence into your talisman. This next part is just for those who are crafting the liar, so skip ahead to the next section of the guide using the time codes if you already have yours from killing Lanzig. For this you'll want to make your way a little bit northwest of the fairy ring near the Fremenic Slayer dungeon. With any luck, the Dragon will have brought you close, but if not, then you can teleport to Relicar and run east, or alternatively use the Fairy Ring code AJR to teleport very close. Here you will find a troll called Lally, and after a bit of chatter ask, other human? And then skip through the chat. Now run a tiny bit northwest until you see a swaying tree and choose to cut a branch from it. Afterwards, use your knife on the branch to create an unstrung liar. Next, run or teleport back to Relica, and then run north back to the hall where you started. Just outside of the hall, you'll find Askeladdon. Chat to him and after you're done, he'll hand you a pet rock. Next, run a little southeast and go through a building until you land in a small vegetable garden. Pick one cabbage, one potato, and one onion, and after you have them, then make your way back to Lally, either by running south out of Relica and then running east, or by using the fairy ring AJR code and running a tad northwest. Chat to Lally and skip through the dialogue. Then once you're done, use your pet rock on Lally's stew, and then being careful not to eat them, use the cabbage, potato, and onion on the stew as well. And afterwards, skip through the chat. Then talk to Lally again, and the troll will finally hand over to you some golden fleece. After receiving the fleece, teleport to Camelot and then run west to the small building to the northeast of the altar and then go up the stairs, where you'll find a spinning wheel. Use the golden fleece on the spinning wheel to get golden wool and then use the golden wool on the unstrung liar to get a liar. If you skipped the liar part because you got it from killing Lanzig, then welcome back and everyone will now need to make their way to the pub in Sears Village. If you're currently at the loom in Sears Village, then you can do this by a exiting out of the building and running northwest. If you're not yet in Sears, then you'll want to teleport to Camelot and run west. After you arrive at the pub, then chat to the poison salesman in orange and select talk about the Fremenic trials. And afterwards, you'll want to skip through a lot of chatter about his beer that isn't beer. And eventually, you'll want to select yes to purchase it for 250 coins. After which, your keg will now be a low alcohol keg. Next, you'll need to make your way to the strange altar located southwest of the Relica POH portal. The easiest way is to teleport to Relica and run southwest, but alternatively you can also run here from Sears Village on your way back to Relica. After you arrive, use your raw shark on the strange altar, after which a fellow called Bossy Griman will appear and enchant your liar for you. Next, make your way back to Sigley the Huntsman in Relica, and while not essential, you can use a Relica teleport if you wish to cut down on some of the time. Talk to Sigley and you'll hand him the talisman and earn his vote. Now run northeast to the small room that connects to the northeastern corner of the main long hall. Go into it and then run on stage before playing the liar, after which Olaf the Bard will be loving life and promise you his vote. Now head back outside and take a look along the eastern wall of the long hall whereby you'll notice a pipe. Use your tinderbox on your strange object that you got earlier to get a lit strange object and then use the lit strange object on the pipe. Then head on inside the long hall and take another keg of beer from the table. And after you have it, then use your low alcohol keg on the keg that you took from the table with the lit object's explosion then distracting people from your cheating ways. 
Now chat with Manny the Reveler again and select yes to go for round 2 in taking him on in a drinking competition. This time you will win and secure yourself Manny's vote. Now we're going to secure Sigmund's vote, whose small wish sends you on a goose chase that will make you hate life. Run outside of the long hall and then go west to find Sigmund around the north of the marketplace. Chat to him and after space firing through some chat, select yes and agree to find an exotic flower for him. Note that for all of the following chats, you're going to have to start them by selecting the first option to ask about the merchant's trial. First run northwest and at the docks you'll find a sailor. Talk to him and ask about the merchant's trial before skipping through the chat. Next, head to Olaf the Bard located east of the long hall and ask about the merchant's trial. He will need you to get him some shoes. Now run west to the clothing store and chat to Yersa, and again ask about the merchant's trial, who will agree to make the shoes if you get Brunt to lower store taxes. Head to Brunt in the long hall and ask about the merchant's trial. He'll agree to help if you can get Sigli to reveal the best places to hunt monsters. Then run south to Sigli and ask about the merchant's trial. He will show you the monster's location if you can get him a custom made bowstring. Now run north and chat to Skullgrimen in the helmet shop. Ask about the trials and he'll give you the bowstring if you can hand him the rare fish that the fisherman caught. Then go west and onto the first dock that you see, and at the end of it you'll see a fisherman. Talk to him and ask about the merchant's trials and he'll ask for a map to catch the best fish. Next go south to Swenson's house and chat to him inside about the merchant's trial. He will give you the map if you can give him a weather forecast. Now go a little northwest and chat to Pier the Seer about the merchant's trial. He will give you the forecast if you can get Thorvald to be his bodyguard. Go northeast back to the helmet store and talk to Thorvald about the merchant's trial, who will agree to be a bodyguard if you can get him a seat at the long hall. Head back inside the long hall and speak to Manny about the merchant's trial, who will give up his seat if Thora makes him a legendary cocktail. Thora is right next to Manny in the long hall. Talk to her about the trial and she'll make the cocktail if you can keep Askeladdon away from the bar permanently. Head just outside of the bar and talk to Askeladdon about the merchant's trial. And after a bit of chatter, select yes and agree to hand him 5,000 coins in exchange for a promissory note. Now it's time to retrace your steps. And while I won't call it out, you will again need to ask about the merchant's trial on each return chat. First talk to Thora to get the legendary cocktail. Then talk to Manny to get the champion's token. After chat with Thorvald to get the warrior's contract. Then return and talk to Pier the Seer to grab a weather forecast. Afterwards, go back to Swenson and chat to him to get the sea fishing map. Then go north to the fisherman on the dock and talk to him to obtain the rare fish. Then go to the helmet store and speak with Skullgrimmen for the custom bowstring. Afterwards, run south and chat with Sigley to net yourself a tracking map and then head north into the long hall and speak with Brunt to get a fiscal statement. Take the statement west to the closed store and chat with Yosa to get the sturdy boots, then run all the way east of the long hall and speak to Olaf, who will hand you a ballad. Afterwards, run west and then a little north and chat with the sailor on the dock, and he will hand you the exotic flowers. Then finally, return to the marketplace and chat with Sigmund the merchant and he will agree to give you his vote. Also, I promise you that that was the most painful of the seven votes that you needed to secure. For the next vote, you'll want to run south to Swenson's house, and I suggest quickly typing his name into the chat box and also making sure that your game compass is facing north. Talk to Swenson, and after a bit of chatter, select yes to try his challenge, and afterwards go down the ladder in the southwestern corner of his house. Now correlate each letter of Swenson's name to north, south, east and west. For example, S being south and so on. And then follow the portals in the order of Swenson's name. Start by taking the southern portal, then take the western portal. After this, go through the eastern portal, followed by the northern portal, and then take the southern portal. After this, go through the eastern portal, and finally go through the northern portal. After which, you'll be in a room with just a ladder. Climb up the ladder and Swenson will chat to you, promising you his vote. 
Next, you'll want to go to any bank, but I'll be teleporting to Camelot and going to the Sears Village Bank. Here, you'll want to get ready for the final two trials, which require you to have no armor, no weapons, and no runes. For the combat trial, you'll need to take on Koshe the Deathless, who has four stages, growing stronger with each stage. You will only need to beat the first three stages to pass, and dying on the fourth won't count as a death. However, dying on the first three does count as a normal death, and thus dying on the first three stages will be a death for hardcore Iron Man players, so definitely be warned. You'll want to wear some combat enhancing jewellery, such as a glory amulet and a combat bracelet, as well as rings of recoil if you're not using protect from melee. Also bring along a super combat potion, a prayer potion, and lots of good food. If you've completed the Lost City quest, then having a knife and a drum and branch can be a good way to smuggle in a weak weapon inside. Once you're ready for the fight, head back to Relica and go to the helmet shop and then speak to Thorvald inside and spacebar through the relatively long chat before selecting yes to agree to the fight, before then continuing to spacebar through the rest of the chat. After you're done, then go down the ladder and into the open space. If you have a drum and branch, then use your knife to make it a staff and equip it. Drink your super combat potion and activate your prayers, and Koshe the Deathless should appear shortly, who you will want to start fighting. While he doesn't have a combat level, he does become harder at each stage or each time you kill him. You need to defeat the first three stages in order to pass. You will know when you've reached the final fourth stage when he starts rapidly hitting zeros and ones, and it's here that you can die without worrying. Also, don't use a ring of life on this stage as it'll teleport you out and you'll fail the test. Upon near death, or I guess you could call it a fake death on the fourth stage, you'll be teleported out of the arena and you'll be told that you pass and have secured Thorvald's vote. Now you will want to exit the helmet store and travel southwest to Pier the Seer, spacebar through the chat, and eventually you'll be ready to select yes to take on his puzzle challenge. But you can't bring any items into this challenge with you. Thankfully, after a bit more chatting to the Seer, you can select yes again for a one-time bank deposit of everything in your inventory and everything that you're wearing. Once this is done, then try to open the southwestern door and choose to read the riddle. You'll be given a five-line riddle, and know that each player will get one of six different possible riddles. I'll pop up a cheat sheet on the screen, so find the riddle that you're being shown, and then you'll know which of the six possible four-letter answers it could be. Once you know the answer, you'll then need to pop it into a combination locked door. Provided you're correct, you'll solve the riddle and unlock the door. After you've made it inside, go up the ladder. Along the south wall, you'll see a unicorn and a bull's head. Study both of them to get a wooden disc and a old red disc. Then to the southwest of the room, you'll see a cupboard. Open and right-click search it to get a bucket. Next, search both of the bookcases to the north of the room and one will give you a red herring. Afterwards, open and then right-click to search the chest on the eastern wall to find an empty jug. Now use your bucket on the tap just south of the cooking range to fill it up, before then using the full bucket on the jug to make it a two-fifths full bucket. Afterwards, use the full jug on the drain to empty it. Next, use the bucket on the jug to get a two-thirds full jug, and then fill up the bucket on the tap once again, before using the bucket on the jug to obtain a four-fifths full bucket. Now use the bucket on the locked chest along the northern wall and you'll obtain a vase. After this, use your red herring on the cooking range to obtain some sticky red goop and then use this goop on the wooden disc to make it a second red disc. Now open the trap door on the eastern side of the room and climb down it, and then along the western wall you'll see an abstract mural. Use both of your red discs on it to obtain a vase lid. Now use your full jug on the vase to get a vase of water before using the vase lid on the vase of water to make it a sealed vase. Then head back up the stairs and use the sealed vase on the frozen table, which sees you obtain a frozen key. Once you have the frozen key, use it on the cooking range to obtain the Sears key. Key in hand, you'll then want to go down the eastern ladder in the room and then open the door to your north and go outside. Here the Sears will be super happy and will agree to vote for you. You now have every single vote that you need. 
run a little bit east back to the long haul and speak to Brunt the Chieftain. Spacebar through the chat and bam, quest complete. You'll be awarded access to the islands of Miscellania, Et Certeria, Night is Not and Jatazo, as well as the ability to use many facilities in Relica. Additionally, you'll unlock the ability to wear the Fremenic Warrior, Berserker, Archer and Farseer Helms and also the ability to have Fossic Ryman create you an imbued enchanted liar. On top of this, you'll ditch the fees when travelling to Waterbirth Island and also gain 2,800 experience in 10 different skills and 3 quest points. Thanks for watching, catch you in the next quest!